Hey, I just wanted to take a quick time to say hi to you guys. I know you're um, online again and not expecting to be online, so I wanted to make sure that you felt comfortable with what's coming up. Um, and one of the things I want to take a minute to uh, have you look ahead to is something that you're already seeing here in Module 1. Um, so you can see up to the side, um, this class was adapted from a six-week class to a 16-week class. Um, and we have something coming up at the end of the time, right? So a long ways from now, way off in weeks, you know, 14, 15, 16 in Module 6. But I want you to know what to do because you're saving things. So where it says here important, read the final and portfolio instructions now so you know what to save over the next 16 weeks, right? So um, otherwise, when you get to that point, you're not going to have the stuff that you need. Um, so what we're what we want you to save is artifacts of your writing process and that can be different things for many of you um, but it's anything that you're doing for writing a rough draft and it could be um, brainstorming it could be pictures of things that you do I've even had somebody send in you know like a picture of a cocktail napkin where they wrote some brainstorming um, it could be outlines it could be um, interviews with people it could be um, discussions that you've had on a discussion board or with someone else. It could be question and answer. It could be anything that has to do with your rough dress. But I want you to, to put a folder on your computer someplace where you're going to know where this stuff is. Um, and as we go through the semester, I want you to save those rough draft things and put them there so that when it's time to come to put it all together in a portfolio at the end, you know where everything is and don't have to spend a ton of time trying to figure that out. Um, let me open up the file. So this is our portfolio instructions. Um, so let's just talk it through. Again, you're not going to be doing this for many weeks yet, but I want you to feel comfortable with what's coming. Um, so you're going to be writing an introduction about it, which will account for the things that you've learned and the things that you've chosen. You'll be explaining the artifacts that you've chosen, like these are the things that I did as brainstorming. This is what it is. This is how it helped me. Um, we want to know your writing process, your decision making. One of the really important things about this class is that you find a method of writing that works for you. And, and some people love to write and a lot of people hate to write. But we want you to find something that works for you. Whatever your writing is going to be in the future, you'll be doing something. Even if that's texting or short memos or writing reports, it could be any range of things for whatever your career is going to be. But we want you to be able to feel comfortable with it. Um, so I also want you to look at the outcomes of the course. These are the outcomes chosen for this particular course. You'll be addressing them in your final portfolio. Um, so I want you to know what they are as you're going into it. So number one, identifying the rhetorical features of text in a typical academic or professional genre. Um, and just to, to parse that out a little bit, rhetorical re means communication. So what are the communication features of texts? You know, what are they? Um, for us, it might be... Um, white space, uh, might be bullet points, it might be paragraphs, it might be anything that's communicated, it might be pictures. Um, and we want you to be able to tell the difference between academic and professional genre. Genre is just type or, you know, so what, what are the, what is the difference between an academic style and a professional style, right? Number two, adapt one's writing to the process, writing process, to the purpose of a text. So right, you're, if you were writing to your boss, it would sound different than if you were writing to a client. Um, we want you to be able to do that well and understand the difference between writing one place or purpose, the purpose of one and the purpose of another. Um, so we're gonna be doing lots of different things. Number three, composing text in multiple genres and modalities. Okay, so again, you'll be doing things, um, uh, maybe you'll be doing a podcast or maybe you'll be doing a TikTok, but that's different than doing a memo or different than doing a report. So we want you to be able to do multiple types of things. Number four, identifying appropriate investigative methods for research questions. So um, are you going to be interviewing someone? Are you going to be researching on, online? Are you going to be in the databases? Where are you going to be? We want you to be able to develop a, a method that works for each particular types of thing for you. Number five, categories, types of evidence used in academic and professional fields. Right? Your type of evidence for something might be really different if you're talking to your boss and you're saying, hey, I see a problem on the on the line and I know what to do about it on the, and your boss might say okay I want you to do a feasibility report which might be something like just you know name the problem what's going to be your solution what's the evidence that shows that it, this is feasible to make this change you might be doing something like that 
Um, number six, evaluating sources for reliability and validity. A really big one um, in the world of the internet when we just have so much stuff that's being bombarded us, we'll be spending some time trying to figure out what of those things um, is useful and one of those things is not so credible. Number seven, articulate the concepts of intellectual property that motivate citation and conventions. Okay, so that's lots of gobbledygook to say, um, when do you cite something? When do you want to uh, appeal to an expert of some kind to say, hey, this is expert on this and here's why I want to cite that person. And last, number eight, describe how writing reflects conceptions of significance and worth in your field. And that's always Indiana Tech's overarching goal for you is to increase your life of significance and worth in whatever field you're in. Okay, so, um, so that's what you'll be addressing, those particular eight items um, that, that, are, that are our goal through the whole semester. So you'll be addressing those at the end in the portfolio. Um, what's going to be else in that, you'll be choosing two projects um, from the various genres that we pick throughout the entire semester. Um, it could be a Q&A, it could be an observation log, it could be a memo, whatever it is um, that you'll be doing, and that's what you'll be collecting the artifacts from. Okay, so just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up about what's coming and make sure that you are starting to save those things and have them easily accessible to yourself when you're ready to go later on. Okay, so... Uh, see you later. Have a fantastic week and um, enjoy your holiday.